Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, I'm doing an experiment and I'm bringing you guys along with me in just a second. So I harvested my I harvested my um, horseradish root the other day, and uh, I've used what I'm going to use for my fire cider. I hope <laughs> I may have to buy some because I think um, if my friend asked me to make them another bottle this year, then yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that. But um, I um, I'm going to take the rest of this shave it off or peel it and then dehydrate it the experiment is will the um a horseradish grow back from just any part even these scraggly little roots or the peels now i've seen robbie over at robbie and gary gardening easy is the name of their youtube channel she has grown ginger just from peels. Peels alone, not a whole leaf and root intact, just peels. And so I'm wondering if, because whenever you talk to someone, they're like, oh, if you leave even one little piece of horseradish in the ground, it will return. So I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna put all these little runner roots they're dry, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to put these little runner roots and the peels that I get from this into my garden bed. And we'll see if the horseradish will come back. Now, the difference being, main difference, um, I mean, obviously, because ginger isn't horseradish and vice versa. But also, uh, Robbie and Gary are in Southern California. I'm in Ohio. However... Horseradish is a perennial here because I am growing it. This has been growing for two and a half years and this is what I got out of a 17 gallon bucket. So I don't know. I don't think I'm too far off. We'll see. Maybe the pieces will be too small. Maybe they'll rot before, you know, anything happens. But suppose next year I see something that looks like horseradish coming up in my bed. Well, I'll have at least video reminder what I did and how it came to be. So I'll be cutting off those little, these little roots here using just a paring knife that I got from Pampered Chef. And then um, to peel the roots, I'll be using my favorite vegetable peeler, which is this one from the Martha Stewart collection. Me and my mom found this at some uh, some some store like a Kohl's or a Macy's or something when they were having a clearance uh, good sale around Christmas time one of those years when she visited uh, so that's what I'll be using this should make easy work of this if you've never seen these before this is awesome I just love this thing it is so easy and then once I got them all cleaned I mean you know relatively because these are small Right, so I'm not gonna spend too much time going crazy. I'm just gonna chop them up real fine using my pear knife and then throw them on a dehydrator. But well, let me get going. I just take this, it has a little finger thing here. I put it on my middle finger. So it's like in the palm of my hand like that. Got my root. Okay. 
and that quick easy peel use as much pressure or as little pressure as you want All right, so this is what I have left that I'm gonna take and throw, well, add to what I've already put in my bed. Just a bunch of scraps. Here's my roots. Those will get chopped and dehydrated. This is going to the garden. Even if it doesn't grow back, uh, it's compost in place, so it'll provide some food at the very least for the garden. I've already threw, I've already threw a few pieces in here. Here's some more. Whoop. And that was the container I pulled the horse radish out of. That's the soil from that container. I'm gonna take all that soil and throw it on top of this bed. So all of this will get buried and we'll see what returns next year. It should be fun. Uh, as you can see, I barely even used this bed this year. It will be the second year in a row I've done that. Um, so I could certainly stand and grow some more tomatoes, but <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have a little fun this time around and see, see what happens, if anything. Today is September 17. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm gonna get something? Or do you think that's just gonna be plant food next year? <laughs> I'm fine either way. I was just uh, thinking about it and I said it didn't hurt. If it came back, great. If it didn't, still great, right? It was a win-win either way. I have actually a couple of uh, volunteers in my beds right now. I have some zinnias. I think a calendula just came up. Those pumpkins come back every year, that mini white pumpkin. Well, so far it has. And uh, actually I have two pumpkins I'm gonna take out there and compost in the bed. But they obviously do well. <laughs> um, I had giant mustards that returned this spring. I had kale, uh, red Russian kale that returned. So I, that bed manages to uh, resurrect a lot of different things. And I'm okay with it. Maybe we can get some more horseradish. That would be awesome. Um,
Okay, friends, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you all on another day in another video. Until then, happy growing, my friends.